Hi guys, I'm Juan Gea from Bone Studio and this is a side video for the Corona Renderer review I'm doing for cgpress.org. I wanted to show you here a bit of interactive uh, view for Corona Render, interactive rendering and the power of Corona Scatter. So uh, bear in mind this is not a tutorial, I just want to show you a few things. So we have uh, this terrain, we want to populate it with trees and we want to create a circle of rocks here. And uh, we have, I have he this here to show you how much RAM is my system using. So let me enable Corona Interactive. Here we have it. Be reminded it takes a while to start up, to fire up, because we are using USD cache. And here we are. Okay, this is uh, working. My This render is taking 8 gigs, or my system has occupied 8 gigs of RAM. And now we have, and this is seen, let me close this. And this is seen, we have 11 million polygons. And this is because the rocks and because the tree, the trees, because the plane is uh, low poly. And let's go to populate the rocks. I have prepared a texture to populate the the rocks in my in my terrain okay so i have the rocks here i have the the texture here and i act and i have a void collision active okay let's pick the terrain and here we have the terrain the rocks have been are distributed and now we can see the rocks here can go near the rocks. We can see the rocks are being distributed based on the texture. Great. And look at my RAM. It jumped a bit, but just a bit. If we see the stats, we have 295 million polygons being rendered here in real time. And we are being able to move the camera in this scene. We had too much trouble. Okay, let's go to distribute the trees. I have another corona scatter here, and I have a scatter count of 10 just to begin with 10 trees. And I have mas my mask. I prepared also a mask to define where I want trees and where I don't want trees. So I don't want trees in the middle of the road or in, over the rocks. So, let me close this. Let's distribute these 10 trees. I don't have avoid collisions here active because I, I don't mind if the trees collide, if the, if the, if the trees are interpreting themselves. Let me pick the terrain. The uh, corona is distributing the trees. Here we have the trees, and here we have the trees. Okay, it's great. Now we have 309 million polygons being rendered. Okay, and the RAM rises to 11 gigs. Now, oops, I'm moving the terrain. Okay, now let me pick Corona Scatter and multiply this by, let's say, 500. Here we have the trees, and here we have the trees. 974 million polygons being rendered. And we can still move. Now let's try 100 
1,500. Takes a while. 2,331 million polygons being rendered. And my RAM, <laughs> it, it got low. It's in 8 gigs. I don't know why it took 11 gigs at some point. But it's great. You can see that I can move, I can navigate into my scene. It's not as fast as it could be, but it's pretty cool. Hello, maybe I'm in front of a tree leaf. Hmm, I don't understand, ah, no. I don't understand what happened, but I can see my forest from the floor. Maybe something with the geometry or with the USD cache. Great, here we are. Let me stop the render. We are going to enable path tracing. Just path tracing. And start interactive again. Takes a while. It's pre calculating something. In path tracing, it is faster to react. Maybe because it doesn't have to calculate the USD cache. As you can see, path as you can see, path tracing is better for interactive rendering. So great. Let me lower this to 500. And we have our forest. Hope you like it.